Vegeta. In order for the Patar Fusion to work, we're gonna have to match our power levels. Ha, <laughs> that's a no-brainer. You have to be a moron to not know that. Now, I'll put the Patar earring on your right and then I'll put it on my left. Oh God, I feel like a damn fool wearing this. Oh, right! Hello everyone, I'm back here again with another toy review on the Dragon Ball Z Figure Eye Standard Super Sin Vegito model kit. And he looks amazing. You know why he looks amazing? Because I custom airbrushed him and painted the boo. Where's my finger? There we go. I painted him. And he looks freaking awesome. So, yeah, it looks cute. so what we're going to do is take this figure off the stand, take a good look at the box, and take a good look at accessories, and take a good look at this figure. Taking a look at the box, we have a nice artwork of Vegito in the front. Um, and then here's the side with the comic strip of when he turned Vegito for the first time. And then all the figures in the line. I have a nice picture of him on this side. Poses that you can get him into on this side. Him on the side. And the toy animation sticker to show that this it's is not a bootleg. All right, getting into the accessories, we have the fists, as you can see on the figure already. And then we have Kamehameha hands. He came with tons of hands, especially uh, like the skin tone hands. We have like a ton because I guess they had like they molded from Goku. And then you have uh, the open blast key hands right here. And then this thing originally came white. Um, so with my uh, artwork, I primered him first and I carefully hand brushed him. So you can see the detail. I painted him. Well, I primered him gray completely first. And then after that, I did the orange. And after the orange, I went with the blue. Yeah, you can tell there's blue on your fingernail. And then I did his boots black, his gauntlets black, and added a yellow trimming, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and then his shoes, his buckle. So it looks really good from far away. Yeah, it does. Stop touching it, ding ding! Oh, you're gonna stop me now? <laughs> Anyways, that's what it looks like. And I went with the Sharpie fine tip and colored in the holes on his chest yeah, it looks very good and then this thing right here comes into pieces so it comes into sections let's zoom this out so you have each one and it creates a long freaking uh a long blade so you can do it standard blade which i did in the beginning of the video it's like that and then you can do the one from the scene where he jabs Boo from super far away. So you just connect it like Legos. Like so. There you go. And then connect the bottom. So it, it becomes super long. Yes, it is long. Like in my pants? Just joking. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and you just stab him in like that and face him the other way yeah and just have boo suffer one more thing i forgot to note is that when you want to uh put this guy with the blade you're gonna have to open it and this hand has a peg on it so you just peg it down and you close it you put this thing on, match it like a puzzle, and then you match it here, and it plugs in like so. And then you can add the attachments according to what you want to do. All right, so getting into the figure, uh, it is 100% custom painted by me. Um, I went with the, yeah, I went with the airbrush, and I carefully just tinted parts that I wanted to tint so what I started off with first if you guys are wondering was I went with the blues first 
I tinted all the blue with the airbrush. Then next, I tinted everything with the orange. And then after that, one well, is... Oh, sorry. Before I did the orange, I did the boots. Because, I mean, blue, dark blue first and light blue was easy to change out the paint on the airbrush. I carefully did it throughout all the white. Some of you might say, Hey, you see that white? I don't like when you shade it. Shut up and... Why don't you just not shade your own then? No, this one you did it pretty <laughs> good though. Yeah, everybody's shade. like co complaining about this guy. He shaded it too much. You should have left it white. Yeah, you kind of yeah, went whatever. overboard. You went overboard with that one. But this round, you did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. Look, I, I think I, I think I put a lot of shading that's on it. It's a softer shading. Anyways, that's soft as well. No, that was pretty direct. Yeah, your mom. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's so funny. I got to laugh. <laughs> Anyways, uh. So after I shaded the white, I went and shaded his skin tone, and I really like how that came out, if you're wondering. Oh, and I also made his hair fluorescent yellow with a tint of darker fluorescent yellow. So yeah, I really like the yellow that came out on this guy. And then his earring as well. I hand brushed that with some chrome paint and some green paint. And I eyelined his eyes with a fine tip sharpie. And then his yelling face as well, if you guys were wondering. Let's put it on. So that one came out clean as well. Uh, so let's see if we can get him into the final Kamehameha pose. And the articulation is exactly the same as the Goku for the body is exactly the same. Just minor parts were switched out with Vegeta. So that way you can have Vegito. So yeah, he looks pretty freaking sick. Not going to go through articulation, but I love it. With all that said, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys are going to get this Vegito figure. You can now find him on Amazon Prime for 33 bucks. And let me know if you're going to custom paint him as well. After custom painting this model kit, it has made me want to custom paint all my model kits because this makes it look way more expensive. With that said, if you guys have any other questions, comment below the box. If you haven't had time, check out our website. It is frankinculture.com. You can also find me on Twitter, 63kennyboy. And also check out the Dragon Ball Coalition site on Facebook. Because everybody posts everything Dragon Ball. If you're a true Dragon Ball fan, you'll join the Coalition site. And as well, check us out on Frank and Culture Instagram, where I'm always posting preview pics before the reviews. So if you want to be the first one in line, follow us on Frank and Culture Instagram. And if you have not liked or subscribed to this channel, I suggest you do, for I'm always posting up cool videos and cool content like these. Get that dingling out of my face. Get it out. Wait. Needs to focus. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Anyway, wait, wait, I have a comment. Hurry up, what? Okay, so, you know, I'm all about fun, right? Okay. So, since Halloween is coming around the corner, why don't you do a custom of a Goku in a Halloween costume? You know what you sound like? What? The rest of the freaking subscribers. You should do something that's cool. Hey. You should do something that looks like you. You should do this. You should shut up. Wait, you said comment. So there's a comment. So too bad. All right, we are wasting these people's times. No, we're not. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> have a great day. All right, let's get our Costco pizza.